What's up, keepers, and welcome back to ARS Goalkeeping. I'm Alberto, the goalkeeper coach and glove guru, and today we're going to check out one of the many sessions I did over the summer at my academy in Germany. Today's session is focused on diving and attacking the ball, or diving shape and form, starting with a light, fun hand-eye coordination warm-up drill to get the hearts pumping and hands and feet ready to get into the goalkeeper training session. So let's sit back and watch a video and stay tuned for the coaching moments and voiceover moments as we go along. And if you have a suggestion for training videos, let me know in the comments. I'm always doing subscriber videos. And as you can see, this is a light warm up, alternating catching between two keepers that are side shuffling between two cones. It's a simple and effective exercise to get keepers mentally and physically warmed up, as well as getting a good laugh as you're starting this goalkeeper training yep. session. Next, we move into another more elaborate warm up involving vertical movement and taking on shots at intervals that get closer and faster as the session progresses. Yeah. To start, the idea is to send the ball straight to the keeper's frame at a normal catching height and progress into more varied services. Where before our movement was focused on sidestepping and catching, here we're looking at stepping up to a shot and then resetting into a better keeper position on a vertical axis. Remember, this is just a warm-up for the hands and brain, so the idea is not to kill the keeper, but to make them work and cement good form and technique. And after every two reps, I normally add a varied service in there to keep the keepers on their toes mentally and physically, which is something I recommend to all keeper coaches. Variation is our friend and also super stimulating to keepers of all ages. And balance in all repetition is key. You must work the fundamental both volleys to chest and low balls that require a smother and everywhere in between. Good job. Good hand. Watch that, yeah? Should I go for it? Yeah. Well, back here. Right? You're catching the ball here. What can you do instead? You can step in. Yeah, so that makes it so that you're going forward no matter what. Here, it's too close. Yeah, you're going to throw your foot out and you're going to drop down. But that only allows the ball to bounce over your hands or to go under you. Here, you have a body. If it bounces out, you're at least pushing it this way. And since this session is focused on attacking the ball and the proper diving shape when going for the shot, I went with one of my favorite and most simple drills that is amazing at illustrating just how positive attacking the ball can be when you're going for these shots. Especially when the amount of reps you do is directly tied into how you dive for the shots. In this simple box drill, all the keeper has to do is push the server out of the box and themselves by diving and attacking every shot. If the keeper does dive backwards or in the same line, they will take much longer to clear the lines and kill themselves doing all the extra work. Collapsing on the side of it. So where, when I dive, I'm coming here. Yeah? Yeah. I see you doing this. So you're collapsing on your flank, which is what you do to, to make it not hurt, right? This is normally our strong area to land. But if you step out and open up these hips more, you can, Collapse dive on the flank even better and still get that full stretch. That's the full dive. Exactly. So, what you really need to focus on is leading into the dive. This, your chest and your neck right here. This line here, going for the ball with your hands connected about this high. Yeah? Okay. So this is my line here. So now when I'm going for the ball, my whole body is now stretching forward. You're going too much here. You're trying to make yourself go forward and collapse at the same time. So what is that doing? You're creating this, right? When you should be creating a straight line, you're creating a loop-de-loop. -loop. No need to create the loop-de-loop, -loop. you're de destroying your energy, right? Okay. Our energy all comes together. So boom, boom, end up, yeah? As with all drills in my coaching style, repetition is extremely important, especially repeating the proper technique from the ground up, which means a lot of the times I start at the knee level or ground level and work up to standing, which is the same thing I do with a simple box drill. 
Not only does this build cardio, but it works to help highlight the difference between a dive thrust forward and a dive that is just a collapse to the side with no positive attacking angle. And as a small tip, I like to tell my keepers to try their hardest to get up fast without using their hands. It's a good way to build core strength, keep your hands open for a rebound save, and it keeps your gloves from picking up any unnecessary tears. It's okay, it's okay. It's getting there. that you should be getting. When I dive, right here, I'm not going farther than this. Right. If I hit this, this is the farthest, right? Yeah. If I'm going backwards, I have a problem. Right. But I'm, what I'm really shooting for is actually here. Because I do the same amount of work and I'm still getting the cover. Right. Yeah? Yes. In less amount of time. Which brings up the last drill of our session, which is probably my favorite drills for diving, period. With four cones set up in a wide yeah. V formation, the keepers have to get up and then time their dive to reach the ball before it crosses yeah. the cone threshold. And it's extremely important to start slow with a rolled ball so the keeper has to work on not only their dive, but their timing on the dive. Once the keeper has a slower service, we move to a faster service with feet and less time to get up. And again, here we're looking to make the keeper attack the ball with their upper body first, finding their balance in a neutral stance under them, and then attacking first with their hands and chest to hold the ball at a positive angle in front of their cones. We want to see the keepers do a full stretch of their body, get a full stretch and get completely out to their cones and push the ball from the farthest point that they can out straight to these cones. And if they can, reach out past the cones. And slowly but surely, your keepers will come to recognize that making the hold on the dive and even making those massive saves is the difference of just making a few slight body tweaks, starting with attacking the ball with your hands and chest. You can even see in this video the progression of saves that turn from parries or bobbles to full safe holds, which in game time translate to the difference between a save or an easy goal for the striker. So that's it for this session where we focus mostly on attacking the ball and diving shape. You're welcome to do these drills with keepers of all ages and with the right coaching moments, the results will definitely make your keepers very happy goal stoppers. Thank you guys so much for watching the videos. Don't forget to join our Discord for the best goalkeeper community online and for all our giveaways. And if you want to help make more great ARS content possible, please do think about becoming a supporter or exclusive YouTube member. And if you haven't already, yeah. smash that like button, subscribe, and leave Good. some love in the comments down below. Yeah. Thank you guys again, and I'll see you all very yeah. soon. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Good. The dive's not bad. The dive is not bad. But we caught forward. it behind the line, yeah? Yeah. So we gotta beat them. Is it this way? Yeah. So yeah. Great job. Fuck. Come forward, eh? Yeah. See where your body's at. See where your feet are. Yeah. That means your chest came backwards here, your feet came forward here. So what happens? I you pushed it right back. Right. Exactly. You're coming, your feet are cheating you. You you already know where it's going. So you're you're getting up and you're jumping here. So just get up, set, get this. Bounce. You have to Same side, yeah? Okay. Yeah. Much better. Ready? Yes. Much better. I'll take it. It's a hard hit. Yeah, but I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Two hands. You dove forward. You were on your angle. You just went out with one hand. You're not going to catch that ball with one hand. Yeah, Two hands. Yeah. There we go. See? Great work. Hey, you heard how hard that hand was, right? Yeah, oh yeah. How tough that hand was. That means you can catch that ball. If it's that loud on your hand, you can catch that ball. You got a solid palm on that. That yeah. means get your right technique on that. All you have to do is hold it. One more time, same side. This side. Yes, same side. Yeah, set. Look at that, and it's a hold. Solid hold, you hear that hand? Yeah. That's the same palm you've been smacking out there. But you caught it this time. You attacked the ball. Last one, right here. Ready? Yeah. Good job. Yeah, good hands. Yeah, good reaction. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, gorgeous there. Come on.